this is young people they they really feel uh, a lot of the feedback I get from them is that they feel like they're not being listened to and no one under understands I think part of understanding is you know listening and um, you find there's a, a sense of satisfaction comes to a young person when they get acknowledged even for the slightest minuscule you know thing they have that that's bothering them you know just for someone to acknowledge and listen to them it's uh it's really fulfilling for them mentoring was kind of something that was suggested to me a couple of years ago someone sort of said you're very inspirational you could like you know inspire young people and these were like my adult friends who always come to me with their problems and stuff and I sat there and I thought about it and I thought, actually, that sounds really nice and I'd quite like to do that. Um, and it is something that I do tend to do just naturally. I'm Peter Boucher and I'm the Managing Director for Community Turf. My history and my background has very much been in youth and community work although I've worked in a variety of um, organisations working with young people specifically. I started Community Turf uh, just over a year ago and it's a, it's a small neighbourhood community based organisation. When I'm asked to do something like that and I'm asked to project something around anger, I can only use my own experience, my own knowledge, my own skills to be able to depict the anger that I'm showing. because. Somebody's already said, the perception of anger or anger for everybody is different. So I can't project what a young person's anger is going to look like, but I can make myself really angry and uncomfortable for somebody else. So when you were showing that, whose anger were you showing? Community Turf aims to engage and recruit adults from the local community who have got life skills, skills that they've had where they've been excluded from specific areas um, or have faced social exclusion themselves and have learnt how to deal with that and have positive solutions. And the idea is that we put them with young people who are facing similar situations as, as the adults might have faced when they were younger. And we're using it as a, as a mentoring programme so that the adults can build a proper relationship with the young people, support them, listen to them and offer positive solutions that they know that the young people could achieve. Being a mentor, um, that role in itself, it's really fulfilling. Even though, I mean, society doesn't really value it and place it high up as a key part of um, young people's development. But for me, um, if we have a 10 week schedule with a young person and he turns up for the 10 weeks, he values it. Or he wouldn't or she wouldn't actually turn up so for me every week I go to see them turn up if I miss a week I'm getting an email um, what happened to you you know it really it really um, puts things into perspective of how key mentoring is for young people because uh, it's, it's um I'm someone different from their mum and dad I'm someone different from their teacher I'm someone different from anybody in authority I'm not there to answer a question, I'm just there to listen to anything they got to say. Mission as a mentor involves, um, at the moment my experiences have been going into schools in uh, Leytonstone and um, meeting with young people. Um, I've got two young people that I regularly see each week on the same day and same time. and. Just talking and listening really, letting them talk about what's going on in their life and talk about the things that they're struggling with and um, exploring with them, exploring them, uh, helping them to discover and realise the skills that they've got within themselves and their own capabilities, helping them to make good choices. It's focused around anger and frustration and the weight for, for a young person, sometimes it's just the pure weight of expectation and responsibility. And then that's doubled up with having your hands tied, because what do you do? Where do you go? I don't know where to start, but there's all this, do something now! 
So it's a pressure weighed up with not being able to have a solution. Wow. Yeah. I work with um, Peter's organisation Community Turf and Later Stone Youth Matters and we go into schools and um, our mentoring relationship, what it's, it's really about, it's helping that young person in the context of the school. So it's a very small window. I'm not there to fix that person. I'm not there to sort out their problems. So it's a very um, small window into their lives. And it's really twofold. It's one is to impart my knowledge, my experiences, and give them advice or give them information and help them understand accountability and understand their world and make the most of their world. So it's not necessarily them coming to me and saying, oh, I can't stand my teacher, or my teacher doesn't like me, or my mum treats me like this. It's trying to find out, well, why do you feel like your teacher doesn't like you? What's that conversation like? You know, how do you behave in, in school? What do you say and what do you get back? It's really getting them to pull back and take accountability and ownership for their own actions and realise that though they can never, you know, influence other people's actions, they have control ha over how they behave and what they say and how they act. And for everything they do, every action has a consequence that they need to be prepared for. Community Turf is a very small organisation and relies on some grant funding uh, from different organisations. It's not in a position to be able to pay anybody to do this work. But the ethos really is about looking at the skills that people have who are no longer working, can't work for a variety of reasons. We rely on the, on the, young, on the adults volunteer because I think they bring with them a more special relationship into the young person's life. The young people that we want to work with often have professionals who work with them but have a different expectation of, of their role. Um, so for example, teachers working with young people has a different role to somebody who's volunteering two or three hours to sit with a young person. So it, it, it gives a, a very different dynamic to that role. I've also learnt that the adults that we recruit are also looking for different challenges themselves, looking for different ways of living, looking at this as a different skill base that they can use or it's building back their confidence to get back into a working life. My life motto, I think, <clears throat> I think my life motto is to use all the experience that I have gained over my life and to share it. Not to dictate it, not to, but to offer it as a gift to other people so that other people don't necessarily have to make huge mistakes that I've made on my life journey. And I think also to share my passion with young people. I would like Community Turf to continue. I would like Community Turf to engage with more adults who want to take it forward and to really embed it into the area. And I would like young people to become young leaders and to work towards becoming part of Community Turf in a much bigger way.